one thank a listener named Kevin. Kevin has sent me uh, some pages from Cosmopolitan. And uh, I guess, does Cosmo even have a website? I, I don't know if they do. You know, the ladies, uh, they don't like using the computer when they're at home and not having to type a letter for the boss. Uh, they, they like the magazine itself. So I guess, uh, what was the deal here? Oh, his girlfriend had a copy of Cosmo, and he took the pages and he just scanned them and sent them to me. And here's what his uh, subject line says. I think this is fascinating. It says, Cosmo teaching women to lie and be bitches. And um, what he uh, neglected to include here was the title of this article, which would have been helpful. Uh, but I suspect it's telling women how to be manipulative. I don't know about being bitches, but tell, teaching women how to be manipulative. And what they had uh, listeners or readers do in this case, they had readers send in the various ways they have uh, pulled a fast one on somebody. And uh, he highlighted his favorites. And I'm going to read the ones he has highlighted here in this article. Are you ready? Here we go. The first one is from Melissa, a 30-year-old fitness instructor. And she writes to Cosmo, There was this trendy restaurant that I wanted to try but couldn't afford. When a guy at work asked me out, I suggested going there, even though I had no interest in him at all. Long story short, we went to the restaurant. He paid. When he asked me out again the next week, I told him that I didn't think it was a good idea to mix business with pleasure after all, and we should probably just be friends. You getting the idea of this? I'll read you another one. This is Erica, a 27-year-old legal assistant. She writes, I had two pricey cocktails while waiting for a girlfriend to meet me for dinner before she called me and said she was stuck at work. I was so ticked. Listen to this mentality here. This is the mentality of a female. Her friend cancels on her. She says, I was so ticked. I didn't feel like paying. So when the waiter came by to ask me if I needed anything, I told him I had been stood up by a blind date and I didn't have any cash in my wallet. He felt so bad, he caught my drinks and gave me an appetizer to go. See, she had money, but she was angry that her girlfriend didn't show up, so she made up the story so she wouldn't have to pay. It's great. Tiffany, a 24-year-old waitress, here's what she writes in and says. She says, I was backing out of a parking spot when I accidentally dinged the car behind me. Luckily for me, the driver of the car wasn't around. Luckily for you. Aren't you supposed to leave like a note? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, the driver wasn't around, just the parking attendant. He told me he wouldn't say anything. If I gave him my phone number for a date, I laughed, wrote down my name and number on a slip of paper, and drove away. Of course, it was a completely fake name and number. <laughs> you know, Tom, why don't you like women? What is it about women? What is it you don't like women? <laughs> Here's Anna, a 24 year old marketing assistant. She writes in and says, My guy would never shell out for vacations. And I was dying to travel. Well, darling, how about you put a little money in the bank and then uh, take a trip on your own? That never occurs to women. Uh, the, the same thing I talked about the other day with the women who place ads at Match.com and Yahoo Personals and JDate. You know, they, they say, I love to travel. Yeah, I love to travel means I love when you pay for me to travel. Women are not telling you they love to travel because they want to show you how erudite they are. Look it up. They tell you they love to travel because they've uh, they've got their bags packed and they're waiting for you to buy them a ticket. She says, I found a really fabulous vacation package to Puerto Rico online. So I said it that it popped up as his homepage every time he turned on his computer.
Eventually, he got the hint and asked me when I could take a few days off work. Who are these pussies? Falling for this stuff. Jessica, 28, a web designer, she wrote into Cosmo. Here's what she said. I had only been dating this guy for a couple of months, but I could tell he was really into me. So the week before my birthday, I showed up to dinner with my hair up, but only one of my diamond studs in my ear. They were fake, but of course, I didn't tell him that. When I got to dinner, I pretended to realize that one had fallen out in the cab and made a huge tearful scene about how the earrings were the only nice jewelry I had ever owned and how much I cherished them. The next day, he insisted on buying me a new pair of real studs for my birthday present. That's just great. Gwen, 32 years old, a financial analyst, she wrote to Cosmo and said, My boyfriend and I were in Italy and decided to rent a car to tour the countryside. He was in charge of renting the car. And I was in charge of getting the hotel concierge to map out a scenic route for us. Little did my boyfriend realize, the scenic route I had mapped out led us straight to the Prada outlet. He was pissed at first, but soon realized it would be a lot cheaper than buying me a bag at full price. <laughs> I think he already had a bag at full price. Gwen, 32, a financial analyst. <laughs> <laughs> I think he overpaid for that bag. <laughs> Can you believe this stuff? So what, I mean, I understand where Kevin, the letter writer, is coming from. He said that Cosmo is teaching women how to lie and be bitches. And there's a big audience, a big audience of receptionists, the kind of women who go after work to TGI Fridays to have potato skins and uh, a fruity drink. That's the kind of women to read Cosmo. And Cosmo teaches women how to be conniving, manipulative bitches. And it is exactly these kinds of stories about women that make me say, you know what? Just have sex with me. Don't talk to me. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Because this is the kind of stuff. Whether you wrote the stuff, or whether you ran out with five or six bucks or whatever and plunked it down to buy a copy of Cosmo and sit and devour this material... The bottom line is, this is how many women think. Women are the cheapest creatures on earth. They are the laziest creatures on earth. They want men to do everything and pay for everything. And here is further proof of that. Can you understand why I get so pissed at women? If they smoke, I'm turned off. If they drink, I'm out of there. Uh, if they're stupid, I'm bored. If they're mean, I'm bored. If they're trying to use me, I'm out of there. So I guess I'm very picky. If they don't work out, I'm not interested. If the mind is lazy and the body's lazy, who cares?